great. I, yeah. I want to touch on the, the come down that you were talking about because that's yeah. a really crazy. I, yeah, I got chills when you touched on that. Because I, I, really I could, did. I could relate to it so much in in what we do and yeah. like, like if I, if we post a video and it gets a hundred k views less than the, the previous video, that's like a mini come down. Yeah. But I just can't imagine the extent of like the the come down that you would feel after training in a gym and not really seeing the outside of a gym for however many months I'm assuming or years because yeah. how much training needs to go into even making it to the Olympics. Right. And then being in front of the entire world because everybody in the entire world watches the Olympics. Yeah. Becoming like one of the most famous athletes in the world within a couple weeks span. Right. And then the Olympics are over and it's not a trending topic anymore and the media is not covering it anymore. And then you start to see the numbers go down. That yeah. That is just, that's insane. That Because that's like... Yeah. I mean, what was wild was like, we had Olympic trials, which everything kind of blew up. That's where I remember my Instagram follower count going from like 15,000 to 75,000 in a day. It's instantaneous. Just, yeah, it was instant. Yeah. Um, and it was a two day competition. So by day two, I had like over 100,000 followers. Wow. And then wow. like as time went on, they kept re-airing some of it. It just kept growing. And then by the time I went to the Olympics, I had a million followers. And I was like, what? Oh, <laughs> yeah. right. This makes no sense whatsoever. I was like, okay. Um, but then after the Olympics, we ended up doing like Dancing with the Stars, and then I went on tour. I did two different tours, and we wrote, we came out with a book and did all this crazy stuff. We were traveling, so the peak never really happened right after. Mm -hmm. um, and so like all the hype of everybody started to tone down after the Olympics, but mine still kept going because yeah. mm -hmm. we were just doing some crazy stuff. Um, and then when that stopped, that was a little sketchy because like also I'm a teenager, like I don't know what I'm doing. I don't yeah. know how to prep for a come. I didn't even know I had to prep for a yeah. come down. Yeah, there's no handbook um, for that. Yeah, yeah exactly. but I didn't. And like that was just a little terrifying. Like looking back now, I didn't know what was happening when it was happening. Right. But it was so odd because this sport that I had done for 11 years, like I was done. Yeah. I wasn't doing it. Like I was going through puberty in the public eye, which <laughs> sucked. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, especially when you got like this like 16 year old like prepubescent full on Olympic body weight and oh. then suddenly you go on television and you're a completely different person because um, you're not training for the Olympics right. anymore. You're eating what you want to eat. Yeah. And so everything was changing and it was just terrifying and I hated it. Yeah. Um, and I was just not a fan, but I ended up coming back to gymnastics like two years later. So in 2018. Mm -hmm. And um, that was really interesting because that was the year that I started going to therapy and just talking about everything. And still, as the years go on, my therapist is still learning new stuff about me. It takes me a while to, like, open up. It's so yeah. important. Yeah. But starting that was, like, I didn't realize how long I had stayed in the come down. Yeah. Or, like, how I was stuck there. Because, again, like, I was homeschooled for it. Like, I don't know what I'm yeah. doing. Yeah. Nobody knows what they're doing. Yeah. Um, but there was no, like, book for this. My parents were just so supportive. But, they're, like, it, the dynamic was just no so weird. No one can know. Yeah. No like, one could know. So yeah. Impossible. With gymnastics, was it one of those things where you worked so hard to the point where like there were times we were like oh my god I, what would life be like life would be so much easier if i didn't have to train every single day you know yeah. what i mean oh i almost quit for the olympics <laughs> wow you did almost quit before the olympics All right, yeah, so in I March. Wow. <laughs> that's that's yeah, nuts i, 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 I so actually wait. i quit for three days if can you, you touch really? on that like what was yeah. going through your head and then what got you to maybe go against that yeah so basically it was just really stressful i had like a, a knee strain at the time yeah and um I was just so stressed. And I, like, you know, my coach at the time was like, you know, all the other girls are, are training and you're just hurt. <laughs> right. Like, everybody's getting ready and you're just here. And it wasn't, you know, it wasn't the greatest situation. Yeah. And there was just a lot of tension between everybody in the gym and, and a lot was just happening. Yeah. Um, to the point where I, like, went to a restaurant with my family and just cried for, like, three hours. And I couldn't even explain what was happening because yeah. still, like, I'm 15 at this. I don't know what's happening. Yeah. And, like, it's not about, like, boys or about school or about whatever it is like this is about the Olympics. And I, I just didn't want to do it. I was just so tired. Yeah. Um, and then after day three, it was just, I was just so overwhelmed. I just needed a break. That was all. Yeah. yeah. You know, and after at that point, my dad was kind of like, you know, you've been doing this for 11 years. Even if you don't think it's going to work, just stay in it. Yeah. Just stay in it. Try, like, don't try, but like, just stay in it because you don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. And then, yeah. you know, sure enough, it, it worked out, but. I was just so tired and I just needed a break. That was mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Breaks you know, are and so I didn't, important. Breaks are so important. Yeah. 
I cannot stress that enough. If yeah. you don't take a break at some point, you're going to burn out. And yeah. it's like... You also have to realize yeah. how much, like, obviously, if you do something over and over again, it, your, your passion starts to fade. Or, or at least you, you get to have, like, you know, you, you have foggy vision. You can't really see your passion like, yeah. you, like you used to. Um, and then as you take a break and, you're not, you know, you're not working at that thing, you start to miss it. And I feel like missing your passion is so important. It's huge. Yeah. It's rejuvenating. Yeah. Definitely gives you like fresh legs to get back into it.